Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Roshi and uh, today you're gonna be watching some Mirage gameplay on Black Ops 2 Search and Destroy. Uh, I have a couple things that I want to talk about in here, uh, but first is going to be kind of like an update slash announcement. I'm gonna be doing an Origin Zombies playthrough uh, right here on my YouTube channel. I know I don't usually do this kind of stuff and I like to stick to Search and Destroy, but I figured um, that I would kind of branch out because this is what I really enjoyed doing recently. Um, so I'm gonna try it, obviously. Uh, it's going to be a part series, so it may be a little bit lengthy, um, but if it gets just kind of boring and it's just me uh, kind of playing through the map, I'll probably end the series if I don't like it, and obviously I'm not going to upload it. Like, if I don't like the final product of it, <clears throat> then I'm probably not going to upload it, obviously, but that's, you know, obvious. Obvious, obvious, obvious. Um, I know most things about the map. I know how to craft all the staffs. The upgrades are a little iffy for me, so I might have to look some of those things up. Uh, but, you know, th that happens with everything. I'll probably cut those parts out uh, if, the, if the map gets a little bit too boring for me. Um, and for you guys, of course. Uh, but I'll try and edit it as best as I can. The parts are going to be like 15, 20 minutes long, as I said before, I think. Uh, so, again, it won't be boring. If you don't want to watch a series, just d you don't have to. There's going to be Swords and Destroy on the way. Um... If I upload an Origins video that day, I'm probably going to upload a Search and Destroy video the next day. So, it's probably going to be daily uploads while I'm doing this. Because I, I do every other day. So, I mean, you're still going to get the same amount of Search and Destroy content. You know, you're going to get the same amount of content that you like from me. But I really recommend checking out this series. Because I think I'm going to do a really good job on it. Uh, just the way that I think it's going to go go down. And the way I have it planned is, is just great. Second update, I got a pop filter for my microphone. So my audio, you know, you won't hear the p anymore. That's blocked. Oh, God, I just hit my mic. Um, that's blocked out now. So, um, d dude, this thing was sent from China. And it took, like three weeks to get here. It was ridiculous, man. It was ridiculous. I, I I ordered it off Amazon. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know. <laughs> it just, I don't know. It fucked up. It fucked up, man. I was afraid it wasn't going to come at one point and I had to refund. Anyway, uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about music in your YouTube videos. Because uh, as you know, I put some beats in my background of my video. I put some like rap beats because, I don't know, that's what I like. I just like the simple beats so that you, you know, you're... you're you can hear it, but you're not attracted to it. Like, you're more attracted to my voice. I'm sexy. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, music in the background of your two videos. I think it's a good thing for live comms. I don't really like it unless it's, like, a specific part. And, obviously, you can use music very well to make certain moments intense or intenser than they should be, uh, which is really cool. I think that's you know, what YouTube music should be used for, not YouTube music, but just music and videos, you know what I'm saying, should be used for, you know, it should be there to, as a background, you know, not as a, oh my god, all I hear is this music and I can't even understand what the guy's saying, you know, um, but again, there is certain music for certain moments, like when I stream, I usually use kind of like a dance hip-hop uh, EDM uh, playlist that I made, um, Sometimes I'll switch it up to another playlist uh, that my friend made. Um, his name's Wolves at my door. He's not really a friend, but like, I, I, you probably know him. Uh, but I use his uh, playlist occasionally on stream when I do stream. Um, that's because I just want my stream to have that kind of vibe. But if I'm switching to playing something more story get based or I want to talk to the chat a little bit more, I'll slow it down and play like, I don't know, some of my music that I like. Just a chill. Probably, like, acoustic, um, you know, it's just, it just music is used to fit the moment in YouTube videos. And I think that if you can master that and put it in your videos very well and obviously incorporate it into your editing process, it's a great thing. But, of course, with every good thing that comes with music, there is some bad things that come with it as well. Uh, say you put your music too loud and you can't hear yourself. That's a problem, in my opinion. That's going to turn some people off because they didn't come to the YouTube video to listen to your fucking music. Music. They came in the YouTube video to watch you. Um, personally, when it comes to background music, again, I don't like EDM in my YouTube videos. I do like it in my streams, and I play it very low, uh, of course. And uh, I usually play it in my streams because I like listening to it as well. Like with a YouTube video, you're not listening to music, at least you shouldn't be, unless you're really good at multitasking, which nobody is. So, you know. Um, <clears throat> but when it comes to that, uh, I usually use the rap beats that I use, uh, kind of like the... I don't know, just chiller beats, uh, because I find them that, that, that people don't focus on them as much. 
I'm sorry about my throat. I don't. I don't know. I, it, I'm having trouble talking today. This is not an issue. Usually, not an issue. Um, by the way, non-paid promotion. I'm gonna take a sip of some Pure Leaf here because it's amazing. You should try it. Mm-hmm. It's great. It's great, great stuff. Pure Leaf iced tea. Get the lemon one. Lemon or raspberry. That's one. That's my favorite. If you don't like kind of you know some sweeter teas, you can go with the unsweetened or the sweetened. It's up to you. Um. But yeah, that was the paid promotion. Sorry, unpaid, unpaid. <clears throat> That's what they think. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, music obviously can be used good or in a, good in a good way or in a bad way. So it's up to you if you want to incorporate music in your videos. You can live commentaries. I probably sway away from because you're kind of focused on the gameplay and the person. With I feel like commentaries, you're mainly focused on either the person or the gameplay. Uh, so you can focus on two things at once because you can you can focus on two things at once. You're watching you're watching a video right now and you're listening to me. But in a live com, you're trying to focus on both. Uh, so I feel like music just takes away from that. Uh, I feel like it's just not a good thing. Um, sometimes people use music to mask background noise. Don't do that. It's bad. Just find a good recording space that you can record in that's not fucking loud as shit. All right, pretty simple. Just wait. Stack up on videos if your family's too loud. I don't know. Just do something else. Don't use background music to mask the background of your videos. Anyway, uh, as I said before, Origins playthrough coming through. If you found the cut in this video that I made because my fucking friend called me in the middle of this video and it was really annoying, I had to cut it. I apologize if you noticed it. Comment. Did you notice it? Comment the time. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Also, comment if you're going to watch my Origins zombie playthrough. I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, definitely check it out. I recommend it. Anyway, that's been the video. If you learned something, if you enjoyed... You know, if you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. Uh, comments on how I can improve on my videos. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.